Top of the morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to do this quick one, a quick rant. So this will be only quick videos. I haven't done, I haven't done this full um, run because it is uh, it's only to Atlanta, uh, only to Atlanta, Georgia. It's only like 2,900 mile each way, and I'm running e log exempt, so it's flat out basically right the way across, no time to do anything or anything like that, so I'm just uh, going for it, hopefully I'll be there in three days, keeping it lit. Anyway, um, today's rant, this is what I'm going to have a rant about. I know some of you like the rant, some of you don't like the rants, if you don't like the rants, simple as that. Anyway, there's we go, wages, wages are always the big thing, isn't it, in uh, truck driving, always seems to be a big thing, there seems to be two categories. That it falls in you're either earning massive massive uh super trucker wages thousand pounds uh a thousand pounds it's the same over here i hear uh, some people selling me they're earning all these ridiculous amounts same in every part of the world there's either getting a massive amount or you're earning very little amount and you're very upset and poor with yourself and stuff like this anyway have a look at this why i'm having me around this is a nice little pass this is, I'm in Utah, actually, uh, just let you know that, in Utah, and this is uh, God knows what pass on the 84, heading east towards Wyoming. And we, um, just before I start my run, I'm just going to show you, shoot, this is a bumpy road, man. In a minute, we get the uh, Devil's Slide, but people call it the Fanny Mountain obvious reasons you might see in a minute. Where is it? In a minute, in a minute we'll find it. I think it's just on the end of this peak here. Anyway, somewhere along it. Right, so the rant. Um, wages, yeah, uh, of, of people getting massive wages and things like that and what have you. And there's a lot of people always complaining about the wages and things like that. I hear that all the time, you know, you'd be uh, better off going to, um, you'd earn more stacking shelves in one of the supermarket chains and things like this, blah, blah, blah. They all earn more an hour and stuff like that. Shit, forget it. Fridge has come open. Bye. Fun bits over the east side of Wyoming now. Uh, we got 60 plus mile an hour wind gusts, plus the wind, plus um, plus the ship, plus a bit of drifting, which is always uh, always nice, isn't it? As you can see, they're in a great lot of snow on the ground or anything, but obviously they drift for miles and miles, so that causes a bit of a problem. In places, you just think everything's happy days, then oh, oh, there you are. A big slippy patch. Hopefully, I should be out of this in a uh, in, in hundred and ten miles, it says, so that's okay. Only hundred and ten miles of this. At least it isn't all snow packed. That's uh, on bonus, isn't it? drifting and go straight over the other side. We'll get it off and miss it again. feel too bad well to be fair it's happened before you'll you feel all right and all of a sudden you get it boom you're like a, a tango advert remember the tango advert smack when the wind all of a sudden whacks you on the side it's like jesus christ where did that come from ain't me right why look i think it has been nice up to now you know running across and uh not not any snow on this trip up to now and stuff, it's been like, wow, 
you forget how easy it is, well, apart from chasing miles like I'm doing at the moment, but how easy it is to actually just uh, run coast to coast in the summer and stuff. Winter is pretty challenging. It has been the last few trips, that's for sure. Get off your brain, you twat. That's what scares the shit out of me. And all the snow and stuff, when you have a car like that comes past you and all of a sudden decides it's going to start jumping on the brakes and things, it's like, what the fuck, fuck, no. Close to light time and high profile vehicles, low risk trust wind 60 plus mile an hour. But a sunny day! What more could you wish for? Fun, fun, fun! And it's below zero as well. So uh, it'll freeze on top of that, so that's always nice. Oh, that's packed down, is that? Oh, 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 yeah, we're spinning. Go on, get all of it. Your chains won't be any good at the moment on this. I'm pretty sure there's no real severe mountains across uh, across this stretch, so I should be right. Upwards, I managed to get. Uh, I'm just going to put this in the short videos because there isn't a lot to this one. It's um, this is day two, and I'm 1500 miles left to do, so I've done 1400 miles in a day and a half. So uh, I've done pretty well. I had seven hours off last night, and I don't know how many hours I drove actually. Uh, I stopped about 9 30, I got 900 miles in. Or, no, 800 miles, I think. I'm currently about 600 or so. And uh, I set off at 5 this morning. It's now 1.30. On Monday, uh, Steve, it is uh, Tuesday. I left on Monday. The date, Steve, is February the 23rd. 23rd of February, sorry, I said. <laughs> On we go! Wow, it has been blustery. Look, you can see back there. There's one back there. And uh, look here, we've got a car and a caravan. And the truck, that hasn't been long gone over. Shit. This is a little bit blustery. And uh, that seems a bit strange going on. Why have the trucks there, but they, they're just sat in their trucks? And the trailers are sat up on there. Seems a bit bizarre. I wonder what that scenario is. Once we go, when he says close to high sided, probably take heed on here. Light high sided, that is, before anybody says, but you're high sided. Light high sided. Here we are. Uh, I'm just stopped in a little rest area uh, at the other side of Wyoming. There I am. I'm not looking at the camera. I'm. And, uh, this is what it's like. I'm going to take you. This is what I do for you guys. Watch this. This is how windy it is. So it doesn't feel that too bad when, you, when you're going along because the, the wind's at the back of me. So it's not that bad. And I'm heavy as well. But when you get out into the open, it is pretty windy out here. As you can see, oh, oh, it's hard to actually breathe into the wind but it blows straight across over there and it blows for miles and miles and uh, yeah it's pretty blowy bloody horrible in fact 
So you can see why a lot. Let me get back in, sir. So you can see why when it says don't drive light high sided over here in Wyoming in the wind, don't bloody do it. It's not good. It really isn't. Jesus, man. And obviously, that's just the wind constantly blowing at you. That's not the gust. Add that every now and then. That was nice for my hair. Uh, add that now and then to uh, a 60 mile an hour bush going at you. Surprising, you know, they, um, they, they go over. Really, they do. Because, you know, you can, you can usually handle it when you're going along and it's a constant wind coming at you. It's not that difficult, really. You can negotiate a little bit within reason, you know, go with the wind a little bit, don't shoot yourself back into it or anything like that. But when all of a sudden, boom, you've got that wind all of a sudden hitting you out of nowhere, it's good night. Right, while we're on, I just want to uh, elaborate a little bit on what I was just uh, saying, the topic we're on. Um, <clears throat> Andrew has just sent me a message as well, like, uh, and I didn't say. I didn't read it, he sent me a bit back and uh, I hadn't got to it. I just uh, read it there while I was having a bit of dinner. Ooh, that's a whole lot. And uh, it tells me the road just behind me, the one I've come through, <laughs> it's closed to high sided. It is now been, it went on the link, yep. It's closed to all high sided, so I just managed to stay ahead of that, uh, didn't I? Happy bloody days, otherwise you're gonna be stuck back there until obviously the wind drops, which nobody knows that, do they? We can use, um, I think it's meant to drop later on this afternoon, but that cost me another three, four hours sat there, which would have been uh, bad because there's no way, no way you can get round, round there at all. Anyway, what I was going to just say, I want to uh, add this comment. Vernon, our advice: if you um, do come across somewhere, especially here in Wyoming or or anywhere where it's windy, and the advisory is uh, no high sided with um, light loads or anything like that and stuff. If you think you can do it and you've had a go at it before and you're pretty confident in it, uh, oh yeah, by all means, you know, but uh, if it sees gusts like this and you're light, just forget it, don't, it's not worth it. The thing is, if you get through it, nobody will give a fuck. Nobody will say jack shit about it. You know, you've got through it. Easy day, you know, it's like going through a snowstorm. It's no st uh, snowstorm, as I've said before. You've done it. You, you might have driven uh, for hundreds of thousands of millions of miles on snow and ice and shit like that. It's all done and stuff like that. You have an accident, you roll that truck or something in the wind trying to get that trailer through. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, everybody will remember that one. Mark my words. They will definitely, definitely remember it, I'll tell you. Uh, that'll be, oh, oh, he went through the wind, he went through the wind. And your boss will... They'll have your pants down as well. I'll tell you a little bit. No thank you or anything like that. So just remember that. Just remember. It's not your bloody truck. <laughs> this is how strong the back wind is. Anybody over here will know. May's in front of me said a vehicle truck in front of me are all governed to uh, 62 mile an hour. Their trucks, it's huge fam. They uh, get a lot of newbie drivers, trainees and things like that. So all the trucks are governed to, uh, they've got a lot of restrictions. It's ridiculous really. But I don't mind the 62 on a new driver, but uh, he's doing 73 mile an hour. That truck's governed on the flat, he's doing 73. And the wind's blowing him. It's that strong is the back wind. Which is incredible. Really is. This has been going like this now for, I don't know, good, a good 50 mile or so. The power of the wind, hey? Windy Villa. He's doing fast enough. He'll be in trouble. He's doing, he's pulling away. Ah, uh, he will be in trouble. They get, a, Richard, uh, my buddy who works here, used to work for them. I think they get a finger beating for uh, going over speeds. I think they're allowed 65 or something like that. And then it's uh, the telling off. I'd like to try and work at a company like that, one of the bigger companies, just for, uh, just for the crack to see how long we could get on with each other. changed 
direction now. I'm. Uh, it's currently coming in from the side. It's coming uh, suddenly now, and uh, it, it is like down at minus two. And the draft coming into my window. It is getting bloody cold here. I'll tell you, I've been today the heating up and everything. And it's getting. Well, I've been over an hour now since the wind changed direction, and it's getting hard work. It really is. I'm having to tug on this steering wheel and hold it over. It's just. I'm just sat. I don't know if you can make out. You might be able to because the horizon. Oh God, let me move that before somebody starts yelling about the microphone. Ah. Uh, because it's got a rising straight, you might be able to see the uh, angle of the dash that I'm uh, quite higher up at this side. But at least we're keeping on uh, all the wheels doing to be staying on the ground, which is always a, a bonus, isn't it? Which is a good thing. Which I aren't too uh, overly bothered about this because it's just a straight wind coming at me, there's no gust now or anything, it's just holding me uh, steady at that. It's them bloody gusts that I don't like. They'll come from all angles, they really will. They'll uh, get one from the right or the left, there's a raptor. I do still like those raptors. Anyway, moving on swiftly. Well, here we have the Archway Monument. So I'm well across uh, um, uh, Nebraska now. If I wasn't in so much a hurry, I'd stop. Is that about twice Oh, I don't know actually. I thought it was a welcome centre, but it's not. Um, I need to know if anybody can put in the comments down below what does Nebraska have to offer? Uh, it must have something, as far as I'm concerned, it, well, see, as I see rather, it is just one um, very flat old country with. Uh, if you like tornadoes, this is the place to be. But apart from that, it's. Um, Got a great lot to offer. This is more, um, you've got a lot more trees as you get further over to the east and the middle and stuff like that, but over to the west it's just pretty barren the badlands, that's what it is. Uh, a whole lot of nothing. But, um, yeah, very flat. Good speed limits, we like that, 75. Keeping her lit. God, it is one boring country to drive through. There's something going on. But the wind has died down a little. Last night it got a really bit rocky and what have you, but I might have done 1900 miles in two days, so I've done pretty well. On. So I'm ahead of the game now. I've only got 1122 miles to do. And it is coming up to half past seven in the morning. My time, half past, seven, half past nine over here in this part of the world, in Nebraska. And uh, Steve, it is Wednesday morning. Wednesday. I've got to deliver, I don't have to deliver till Friday, so I've got a full day today and tomorrow. I'm going to give them a ring anyway and see how I'll get on today. If they say they're going to take it early and they'll take it when I get there, I'll try and kick it through best as I can today and then I'll um, I'll get a break and there's early at dawn's crack and uh, do the extra bit and try and get there for lunchtime tomorrow, if possible. If they are going to take me early, well, will to them. I'll, uh, I'll just rock up there on Friday morning. Well, no, I'll get there Thursday night. That'll do. Here's a little update then, I'm in South Carolina now, so I, like I said I wasn't going to do a great lot on this video, it's uh, because you've seen it all before, it's coming across uh, Wyoming and stuff like that, it was only uh, little bits with the wind and that I wanted to show you, and the uh, snow, snow drifts and what have you. Anyway, so a lot of people have been saying on my uh, Facebook and things, uh, well not a lot, uh, a couple of people have sent me messages, you're going to burn yourself out, blah 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 and stuff like that. Uh, because I've just uh, I did just short of 3,000 miles in three and a half days because I was running the supermarket restock like I explained uh, with the e-log exempt stuff because of COVID uh, I was uh, able to run basically it's like in England you'll understand some of the old guys it's like basically running legally with the wire on you just basically boop do your shit but 
Uh, the way I do it, I don't run night and day. There's no need, you know. We don't forget we've got a super uh, high. We've got some high speed, so you can clock up some good miles and things like that during the day when the weather permits and things. So going across the middle, you're up to 80 mile an hour, 70, 75 most of it, uh, and stuff like that. Even 70 over here now in South Carolina, still 70 out of Atlanta. So uh, as long as you don't hit any traffic. Uh, 700, 800 miles, 900 miles in a day in uh, 14 hours because that's how I've, how, how I've extended it. I haven't, I've still been having seven hours sleep on a night. I read somewhere that it's bad not to have seven hours and the wife was going on, you must have seven hours sleep, uh, which I usually wake up around six, uh, six, uh, six and a half anyway. So seven hours sleep, I'm being hit in the road. Um, but extending what I've been driving at. So I've been driving, rather than just driving my uh, 11 hour driving day, I've only had to extend it basically another uh, three hours. So I've been doing like 14 hour driving, that's all. Uh, each day, the three days. And then the first the first day I did, I did push it hard and managed to get a 900 in, which was pretty good seeing I had to go all the way south to come east because of the weather. Uh, which, uh, you know, it's not, I wouldn't say it's really burning yourself out doing, doing things like that. And still, you're still getting the full night rest. It's not as though when we used to wire it in Spain and run to England and things like that, you'd be drive, 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 stop, uh, put it on the wire kind of thing, drive again, and you might be get two, three hours sleep on a night or something if you're lucky or just push it straight through. That was the way it went. There's none of that. I don't do that, malarkey. I'm, I'm too old for that shit. You know, I, I do like to go to sleep on a night. And I work during the day. I'm not a lover of nighttime driving. I'll drive till one o'clock in the morning. But uh, starting before 3.30 is still in yesterday as far as I'm concerned. So uh, 3.30 is my get up time. That's the earliest I usually like to get up. Unless obviously it's a delivery time or something like that. And then it's different. Anyway, get away from that. Let's get on about the uh, the delivery. Absolutely brilliant. Managed to get there uh, yesterday, just afternoon, and uh, it wasn't until this morning delivery, but they took it off me anyway. Happy days, nice people. So then I shoot up for my uh, my load, which is here in South Carolina now. Uh, this is South Carolina. South Carolina, local shunterban. Lovely people. There's an Aussie works in here. Really grand guy. Uh, he's been here all his life. A uh, bit, of a, bit of a funny going on, obviously caught the accent as I walked in and he said, uh, can you sign this here mate? <laughs> okay, that was funny. So, uh, yeah, the, I, I'm from here though. Now I've got my predicament, I'm going to Salt Lake City, which uh, is 2,200 miles. It's 2,000 miles if I go straight across through Colorado, but to go through Colorado this time of year would be just suicide really it would through the through the Colorado Rockies would be just it would be just madness you might count it right you might get it right and it might be okay but uh, you know it just ain't worth the risk if they shut that down you you pretty bollocks up shit creek without a paddle because there's no way once you're in there you're gonna get up north south or anything you're basically gonna have to sit there and sit it out so it is the usual, but I can either go up, you see here, I can either drop that back down to Atlanta, get screwed with all the traffic in Atlanta, Birmingham, and go up to Memphis that way, or we can go over this here mountain that I've never been over, over before, drag me sorry ass over there, that's for, and then if I do get running out of time or something, I can always stop in Nashville for the night, can't I? That would be, uh, that would be terrible uh, if I get held up. I got held up this morning coming through Atlanta, because when you've done a, su a supermarket restock, when you've done e-log exempt for the emergency thing, the one of the specifications is uh, you must have 10 hours off after your load is unloaded. So uh, once you're unloaded, you've got to have 10 hours off. You can't all of a sudden go onto duty and start your PC, start your, um, your log or something like that. No, 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 no. You've got to have 10 hours off. So as soon as I got unloaded, I had to have my 10 hours off. So that, that's why I always specifically speculate to American drivers. Uh, if you're running e-log exempt, make sure you get to your delivery point on the night so you can have your 10 hours off. There's no point in, say I was to drive there, arrive there at nine o'clock in the morning, so, and I, didn't, I was three hours short of my delivery. Still driving on supermarket restock for three hours, boom, get unloaded, I've got to have a 10 off. You can't, you know, then you've got over 10 off. The other way to do it 
is if you can't make it to your delivery, you're too tired or something like that and you're really close, uh, the next morning when you go to set off, don't go on supermarket, to have a, you're still going to have to have a 10 off, go back onto PC, go to, not on PC, go back onto log, start that day on full log and then you won't have to have 10 hours off at your delivery point. That's the uh, way I've, I've, I've read into it and you can do it, so just a little heads up because they're going to have you if you don't, you know what I mean? It is there for your benefit and everything like that, but you don't want to screw it up for yourself. So I'll probably go up Knoxville, uh, Knoxville, Nashville, Memphis, uh, there's a couple of places I want to try and aim for. I'm still going to, I'll be going through Texas and New Mexico, so I want to try and get to what's it called the great tech big big texan really want to do the big texan keep missing it um i'm not sure how many miles it is it's about big texan roadhouse it is let's Texas have a look yes yeah, steak ranch that would be nice if i could make that saturday night but i think that i think it's over a thousand miles no it can't be a thousand miles just have a quick look come on google it your location Oh, it's 1,300 mile away, so I ain't going to do that because I've done 250, 300 miles today, so I've already done a few hours. Uh, that ain't going to happen then, is it? Oh, God. So it will be... I don't know. I don't know where it'll be because there's also a place there's a route on route 66 that i wanted to do there's a a museum over by um what's it called gallup or somewhere or other i think there's a yeah it is gallup there's a, a, a fancy hotel museum thing i wanted to aim for that but that's going to probably be a bit it, it's good you've got to get it within my mileage for my nights out i don't want to be doing just a 300 mile day because if I am stopping at somewhere like that I want to stop for the night and things like that anyway we'll work something out on the way I'm waffling now huh? bye bye hey little update so I'm in um just been for a wander around because I haven't uh, I haven't stopped much today uh, I realized that I could get I didn't think until halfway through the day that I could uh, maybe get right to the other side of New Mexico to a uh, place, a hotel called El Rancho on Route 66. It's quite a famous hotel, it's had a lot of famous stars there. Um, I think Clint Eastwood and, and uh, a few of other people have stayed there and stuff like that. I think it's a little bit run down to what it used to be. It's a really old, old, uh, old historic hotel and what have you. Anyway, the wife said she can book us into that, but I'm gonna, not going to book it until tomorrow, because I'm going to go for that. It's 855 miles away. I'm just over the state line into Oklahoma at the moment, and we've just got a thunderstorm's just cracked up and above us. Uh, time's getting on. This day is, Steve, it is Saturday. Uh, so I want to I wanna have a day off. I've been kicking hard, and it's, what time is it? It is half past two my time, half past... We'll just go on New Mexico time, which will be probably about half past, half past four, half past three, half past four, yeah, half past three or half past four, I can't remember, but it's an hour or two. I've got an hour back anyway now. So I, I've got another about four hours, so I need to kick that four hours, get finished as quick as I can, and then uh, then I can get uh, done, because I'm running E-Log now, this isn't a supermarket restock, so I can run, uh, get my time off, have my 10 off, and then uh, get going again in the morning and try and, uh, try and make this hotel. And then uh, I don't have to leave there until gone lunchtime on Monday morning. Because uh, it's Nestle where I'm delivering, I know they won't take that early, so I had to um, fuss about getting there. Mondays are really busy. Any, any day during the week, they would probably take it a bit earlier. But uh, not on a Monday, I know they are. It's 8, 8 p.m. delivery, so... You know, swings that'll be okay. That'll uh, work for me. And uh, leave the, and then, then that'll only leave me something like, I forget how many miles I've got to do, how uh, many? If I can get another 200 or so off, 900 off that, 850, that'll only give me like 300, 400 miles to do on uh, Monday. So that won't be too bad. Depending, I've got to check the weather tomorrow night as well. 
to see or obviously see what time I could have to leave on Monday morning because that Price Mountain is quite a harsh mountain. Uh, you've seen it before going over there out of, out of uh, Mohab, Utah, uh, down into Salt Lake City. That's uh, quite a shitty mountain, is that one? It's um, you know, it's not not the not the best to uh, negotiate in snow. That's for sure. I don't want to swing in chains. That's for sure. So stop beeping. Um, I think that's about it. The uh, yeah, because I have hit it hard and what have you. I do really fancy a night in a hotel. This is day Monday. When did I leave? Monday. Day yeah. six today. So nice little rest area. This. Let's get up on the freeway. Hopefully, looking at the satellite, uh, the weather. I should be out of this storm when I get back up a little ways. It's been pretty dark <coughs> all day. It hasn't, uh, it hasn't really brightened up. Even though this is the second night, or third night, I've managed to sleep last night and the night before. No, only last night and the night before, rather. Without my bunk eater night eater on, which is really nice. And be able to walk about in a t-shirt. It's only 15, but it's nice compared to the bloody horrible cold weather we have had. Remember only the other week coming through here, man, it was horrendous. And I was uh, had all that hassle through New Mexico as well in the uh, the snow and ice and shit. Totally different world now, isn't it? Continue on the road. I say it's been it will be hard push, but I'll, I am looking forward to it if I can get to this hotel. I'll. Uh, if my calculations are right and I don't get held up, I should uh, give myself about 680 miles to do tomorrow. Which, with no hold ups, shouldn't be a problem because it's like 75 all the way across uh, New Mexico. Texas is 75 as well. And, uh, so yeah, Texas is 75. Oh my god, that's the wife on Messenger she's had. Dogs hassling the new chickens. There you go. Okay, that's the update. Hopefully, with next uh, next video, I'll be in the ranch. So here's the crack. Um, there's an accident just in front of me. Uh, Steph has booked me a hotel, which is basically right the other side of the accident. So I've managed to do 600 plus miles, shoot across. Lovely saving time, no hold-ups or anything, all the way through Texas, New Mexico. Happy bloody days. And uh, it's, let me just keep an eye on that. And um, the bloody accident, a truck's gone over in front of us with an hour's delay, which is on the 40. So I looked at uh, going around a diversion and going a different way, which was going to put me over that way, which, so... I am a little bit dubious now about uh, taking the Vernon Diversions. You look, it was going to send me uh, like 20, 20 mile south basically, which would have been the other side of those mountains and stuff, and then run along there and come back on again. Which if it had been that side, that looks all happy and dry. But this side, then when I refer to my, um, this is New Mexico by the way, then when I refer to my um, Atlas, it uh, has come, coming up roads such as uh, Ice Cave Road and things like that. It's like, hmm. You know, if you remember last time I took a little bit, a bit of a detour, it didn't, uh, didn't end too well, did it? It came out a little bit shitty. Oh, this is saying... I think it's... Oh, we may be lucky! Road closed! saying it's bloody closed. What the hell is going on? So anyway, there's a, another little diversion on Google Maps it's just giving me when I get closer to it. So we might try that one. Let's hope it's going to be all right. I'm going to have to stop and uh, start prodding the GPS because I want to get into that hotel. It's good time now. It's only, it's only half past three, half past four here. So I could lose an hour, but I'd rather not stay in, sat in traffic for an hour. Um, this is the road, whether, oh my 
good. I couldn't get the, uh, my GPS doesn't seem to want to go this way. Uh, this truck in front of me's come this way though, so I'm presuming. But I am on res land. Total reservation land. We've got horses in the road, uh, all sorts of shit. So, hopefully this doesn't look as though I'm gonna run too high up into mountains, but there is snow on the ground. So that's all. <laughs> It'll be right. At least we're moving. Probably going to be about the same time if I'd have stayed in the goddamn traffic. But um, at least I'm moving forward, and this is quite scenic and picturesque. As long as the road stays like this, happy days. Vernon Detour. Never ever follow. Continue on Highway North 1149. Ah, well, the, uh, that's good. That's good to know. Um, my Garmin has decided now to route me this way, and it's not coming up any weight limits or, or height limit. Oh, we've got a question mark on the truck route there now. Uh, it, it's not sure, so it's just uh, putting its hand up on that one, basically, to cover itself. It is a grated uh, road, so we are going to get... Yeah, well, Johnny, lots of animals running about and shit like that. Uh, sun's and it is bloody cold up here, it's minus two. Don't let that sun deceive you. Come on, I want to get in for a beer in that pub. Good God. Well, that's pretty cool. I uh, We got through, it wasn't too bad actually, it's pretty straight. Quite a few horses running about and shit, but um, which you mean? So I'm back onto the main road. Well, a main road. It's not the road. I don't know this road, but uh, back onto a main road. So that's a, a bonus, isn't it? But looking at uh, <laughs> Google Maps now, it's not showing me that there's any accident there now. It must be though, because there's uh, the truck was rolled over. That's great. Where's the road? There it is. There we go, there we go. Continue on New Mexico 566. So I've got another 19 miles to the hotel. No, 15 miles to the hotel. 19 minutes. That's good. That worked. Thankfully. <laughs> Pretty little valley. Ka Cappadocia. <laughs> Look at them. They're like Cappadocia. Old man's penises. Not that I know, but uh, okay, moving on. Um, different rock formation. This is Church Church Rock, a little bit further on. It doesn't look like a church. Probably not, because Ship Rock doesn't look anything like a ship. I prefer um, going round a detour when you're running alongside of the road that's all chopped up. You can give them that smug look as you look across as people have had to stop waiting in the traffic. <laughs> Gives me great pleasure. And we're in good time. A little bit of the freeway, back on jump onto the freeway, uh, mile of the road here. And then uh, onto Route 66. There's my hotel, uh, and I seem to have gone past it. If I turn round, I'll still be the wrong way. So let's see. Can maybe just uh, oh, get out of my way. Where'd you come from? My little 53-foot trailer can bend into here, maybe. Just nip through this car park, <laughs> stop in the foyer and ask for um, valet parking please. Maybe not. Check in parking only. Can I leave it here do you think? Maybe not. Well let's go find somewhere to park. 
<laughs> it looks cool. Uh, see, I've got my reefer running though. Bendy wobble it this way and then shunt it back down there. As long as my room in there, uh, my uh, brief, we're all right, aren't we? I'm going to have to just nosy punch me way out of here a little bit and then back down there. What do you think of that? Everybody. Think they're going to be chuffed with this one? Go on, Mister. Get out of the way. Right, everybody, stop. Big truck, big truck, big wheels. Huge, huge wheels. Everybody, this is a big truck coming at you, doing silly manoeuvres. Yeah. I once uh, took a wrong lane. With Steph, in the, we're in the car, we're in Mount Vernon, and uh, I thought it was a one-way street and it wasn't, so I ended up going down the wrong side of the road and ended up facing the traffic as the traffic lights changed coming towards me. And I'm like, oh, who should be coming the other way? The PC plot, just at the same time. It's like, oh, bollocks. So, um, I was stuck, I was just stopped there, and he pulled up, I can't believe what he said. He pulled up and he wound his window down, and he said, uh, you can't park there. And I'm like, um, well, I'm not really parking here. And Steph just led across and said, sorry, he's English, he didn't know. He went, oh, okay then. <laughs> just let me go. I think I want to park on the other side over there. I don't like this idea next to these crusty, crusty things. I'm going to go check in. So here I am in the hotel room. Let me just have a look. Look at the corridors. It's very oldy worldy pretty. It, it's, it's nice, it's clean. Uh, it is run down, definitely, without a doubt, but it's bloody old, old well. But uh, it's cool. I'm looking forward to this. And uh, it's an old cast iron bath. As well, so you know, this is tiny. It's not the super luxury. It's only two star, but definitely worth a look and look, I've just spotted this look at that for a bonus bonus happy hour five till seven on the beer ho, ho, ho. well earned beer we're out of beer so I'm going down to the restaurant to get something to eat it still worked out I've done uh, when did I leave I left on I'll work that out in a minute I'll just go downstairs and check my mileage to see what I've done exactly they have a really cool bar look I'll just sneak back here. I don't think I'm actually meant to be here. It's closed as the bar. Uh, due to COVID, obviously, so I'd better get out of here. Sneaking about. And outside! Look at it! Go cool! And there's the truck there. And my room's just up yonder. Hopefully the reefer will. It's really cold here anyway, so I'm, I'm doubting the reefer's gonna gonna start. Anyway, let's have a look inside. Look at this. Look how cool is that lot? It's a really a hell of a lot of memorabilia and stuff like that, like you'd expect it. So sort of museum -y stuff. 84 year old is the place, and uh, we've had such as stars, Clint Eastwood. What's his name? Um, John Wayne. He was telling me uh, a few of the prime ministers and different people like that. Lots of uh, lots of stars have stayed here over the years and things, and it really is nice. Big open fire over there. Look at that. Can cool that? Excuse me. Isn't that cool. So you can just sit out here, chill out. Like I said, the bar's closed, but apart from that, uh, you can. She said they can drink a beer out here and have a beer and just chill out in the lobby. I'm just going to go find something to eat and then. Probably wander around and look at all these uh, pictures and and stuff. It's worked out. I've done uh, since I left. I've done five thousand miles. Is it five thousand miles or six thousand miles? Five thousand miles since I left last Monday. So I've had a good go. Uh, so I think I deserve a day off. Definitely. Well, not a day off. I'm going to have half a day. I've still got to set off something like in the morning. But I've only four hundred and fifty miles to do now. 
So if I if I leave here about nine, I don't unload until eight o'clock. So should be all right. The mountain pass is saying it's going to be all right because <coughs> I've got price to go over, which uh, can be a bit dodgy. But hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be right. Bye bye. Right, I thought I'd show you the room really quickly because the size of this bed is huge. It's the biggest bed I've ever seen. In fact, I think it's wider than it is longer. It's very Mexican feel, obviously, it's New Mexico about it, uh, the rooms and stuff like that. Lovely little view. I've steamed all the windows up with having a shower. But uh, yeah, there's a nice little view of all the little barbecue areas, seating area and stuff like that. And uh, like I said, cast iron bath absolutely cool it is you know that bath's probably the same age as what the hotel is so things are run down in here and uh word of warning if you do take a shower and uh the heating's on the the water will get red hot when the heating kicks in it's just one of them things <laughs> so if you have the heating kicking beware it's gonna get hot <laughs> oh, oh, i'm gonna get the key so i'm just gonna go check out and then i want to go back and have another look at some of these other pictures up on the wall and grab myself a coffee. I'm going to go check the reefer, the fridge, and see how that's doing, is the wee corridor. They've all got different names. What was the name of mine? Alan's room or something like that, I think it was. Alan lad. There you go. Whatever that's about. Oh, these are all be famous actors then, aren't they? I presume. Yeah. Morning. And then we've got back into here. And this is where I saw, I put on my Facebook, the uh, picture of, I thought was Fred James. But apparently people are telling me different. And there's no name. Oh, yeah. Better further investigate that. I know that one, I know that one. Face. It's really good. I, I'm blown away by this place. I think it's brilliant. I really am. Just loads of uh, Wall of Fame pictures of the people who stayed. That's a cool picture. Painting, I like that. And out we go. Oh, we've got the rockers. There's the truck, it's still there, hey. That's a bonus, isn't it? Lovely view. So it's about eight o'clock now. Uh, oh, Steve, I forgot to say what day it was yesterday. Steve likes to know that I had to keep him up to, into, up to speed on what day it is. It is Monday now, it was Sunday yesterday. I never mentioned what day it was. Uh, it's about eight o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm in no great rush, to be fair. Uh, it's about eight hours over to Salt Lake, so if I leave about lunchtime, I'll be okay. So I'm gonna go check the reefer, like I say, and then I'm gonna uh, get some uh, breakfast. I was pretty lucky, here's one to bear in mind. If you are in Gallup, on a Sunday, everything is closed. Your uh, liquor stores, off license, everything apparently. This is going to be the only place, she tells me, uh, that is open on a Sunday. So just bear that in mind. I remember those. That's just how <laughs> old I am. We had a cream one. <laughs> there you go. I mean, Nana had something older than that. These are telephones for the younger generation. Telephones, you know? And that's a horse on the sofa. And so on and so forth. That chair's absolutely wicked, look at the chair. Is that one cool chair? Catch you in a bit, guys. So I'm just sat in the truck at the moment, just warming her up. I should have left the bunk heater on. Jesus, man, it is cold out here. 
even though that sun's up, it might be warmer over in the sun, but I'm in the parked in the shade here. It is minus 10. Minus 10. Uh, I'm just checking my weather as I always do first thing in the morning. I just want to share this one with you. Look at that shit show. I've come through that. Well, slightly above there, but I came across from here. Look at that band. That is horrendous. I'm so glad I'm up here now, obviously heading up to there. But uh, I've been pretty lucky. Stay ahead of that. And the other problems is now, um, it's uh, on the we we one of the Facebook weather ones, a daily forecast and weather that I go on. Uh, they're reporting now, and they were last night, all across New Mexico having fuel problems. Massive, massive fuel problems. Because when you're down in the southern countries, such as Texas, New Mexico, uh, and places like that, their fuel, they haven't got it heated on. Uh, they haven't got heaters on their pumps, like on uh, the northern ones. Like, uh, get up into, sorry, get uh, a bit further up, Moab, and it's all cold and twisted, it won't do it. Anyway, uh, get a bit cold, if get cold, get a bit further up, and they're all right, they've got heaters on the pumps and things like that. The heaters on the pumps and things like that. So everything stays working. But down here, because they don't usually get these adverse weather temperatures dropping this low, they're pretty fucked and everything's frozen up. Especially that DEF, you've got to remember the AdBlue DEF. Even in Europe and that, if you get a cold spill coming through, spell coming through the DEF ain't gonna, it's gonna freeze. Uh, I don't know if you're getting it on the pumps yet over there. I know you used to still be buying it out of cans and things like that, but if you're buying it through the pumps, it will uh, it will freeze up. And uh, so this time of year, I'd like to keep it well topped up and don't let it run down too far and check ahead to make sure you don't really stuck waiting for fuel. That fuel was buggered up as I was coming through yesterday. Uh, there was reports of that and it's still all frozen up across there. You know, so that's a big old stretch to be stranded out there uh, with no fuel. You know, good weather and no fuel, just down to being freezing. So you gotta, you got to plan ahead, otherwise you're going to be pretty bollocks. So onwards and upwards. So here we are coming through the uh, main town. This is uh, Route 66, Gallop. Uh, I, didn't get through. I thought there'd be more. She told me this was downtown, this main street. Very main streety things happening to me. I can see something from the freeway <clears throat> before and it looks really cool. A real load of westerny town buildings and what have you. Maybe a bit further Eight up. Half mile. Turn right on North Second Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She wants me to go up onto the uh, on the freeway. I was going to go for a walk, but it is just too bitter. It's just too cold out there. One quarter mile. Turn right on North Second Street. My poor little delicate ears. Felt like they were going to drop off just having a little strut about outside checking the truck. Another, we won't go up yet. Oh, it's, it's getting a bit, bit better. Jewelry, fancy pants. I don't know why Turn that's right saying one eighteen. This is the. Uh, there's some cool buildings now. A lot of empty ones. Finest jewellery. I do like some of the Indian jewellery. I like that blue, the turquoisey blue. Turquoise, it's not blue, turquoise. Uh, I think that's cool. And the rugs. So this would be the place if... Uh, oh, that's cool. And the, the street out the back looks a bit better. Looks a bit more of it. We'll save that one for a, um, a bit warmer day. 
we come down here all the time, so there's your big train. Do -do. He ain't gonna blast that there, that is for sure. So we aren't gonna even play. It's not even in it. Look at the size of them things. They're colossal, are they? Evil big bad boys. mentioned before stay at one of these motels the uh that's a big hole in there i'm not dropping my truck into it. these cr crusty ones i think it'd be uh definitely fun to stay in uh, an old an old uh route 66 one one of the uh little motels to stay in all the time but uh, if you're on a road trip or something like that you know what I mean and let's have another go look at it what a beast what a beast those things are I don't like the green ones much prefer them in uh, in orange. They have train washes, why don't they wash that one? Look at the state of it. Well they do in England, I've seen they have train washes, but wake you up and shit and you'd be oh god you know what I mean and you uh, I thought I'm never gonna get rid of used to this we moved uh, house once and uh, we got to uh, the new house straight away first night I could hear I thought wow oh, it's well in the distance and Steph's like what's wrong with you you know they you, you don't hear it you do get immune to it now it's like yeah it's a train on it, it don't bother you at all it's quite nice to hear actually Yeah, I am back in the same place I was. Flip, do I get onto my road? And the hotel is coming back up on the right hand side, maybe stopping and getting another coffee. 